Hey guys, my name is this is Cobra. Welcome to the series I actually had a bit of Discord up on music but for your server today we are talking about uh, more or less what we were talking about last time, except we are gonna be adding the ability to search for a song rather than have to provide a specific URL. So there's not much we need to do for this one. Uh, thankfully we can basically just uh, create all the functionality to wrap back around into here and just pass the same track in as before. So all we need to do inside this add tracks is do um, if track uh, awaits self dot choose track. There we go. I've uh, got a bit ahead of myself with talking there. CTX and I think we just pass in tracks. Yep. Uh, is not none. And we're going to be building an individual method for that. Um, we can do self dot q u e u e. -E because I'm still doing that. Sure. I wonder how many people are annoying with that. It's probably quite a substantial number. I do apologise if it does actually annoy you. Um, but I just want to have some fun with these things. You know, you've got to make these things fun. You've got to make learning fun. Or extremely annoying. One of the two. Or both. Um, or just everything. Just make it as, as good and as bad as possible. That way people physically cannot complain. <laughs> because it's everything. Uh, so uh, we can do choose track self ctx oh goodness ctx and then we pass in the tracks and then we have to do a check because we're going to be doing some wait foring. Uh, so we could just check a reaction of the user which are going to pass as r and u respectively and then we're going to return uh, r.emoji in options which we're going to be defining dot keys Whoops. And u double equals ctx to author, and u dot message dot id double equals message dot id. Um, so r is the reaction, obviously. U is the user that reacted, and the message we're going to be defining in here is one that's going to be sent. Options we're going to go up to the top and define right now. This is essentially quite similar to what we did in the last series. Um, it's just a way of of being able to more easily infer which option we selected. So I'm just going to copy paste this. You can copy paste this out of the repo. Um, I believe there is, if I quickly just go into the bot usage channel real quick, I'm pretty sure there is a way of, um, of getting other stuff. Is that not a thing? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe our oh, Danny is also down. I don't know. Um, but if you do that tag in the, the server, that should do it. That should have Oh, there we go. What? Why was it that slow? Okay. Um, so apparently doing something like this works. Um, I don't know, to be honest. Um, apparently that works. I personally use these characters. You can choose. Um, but yeah, I just do it like this. So we have this... Um, you always have this key system. So if someone chooses option number one, then we get the zeroth index. If someone chooses option number two, we get the first. Option three, the second, etc., etc., etc. Of course, you can go all the way up to ten. I'm choosing to just go up to five because it's easier. Um, yeah, you can choose to do whatever you want with that. Um, I'm just using that as like an, an easier way of um, of working out which option was selected, and you'll see how that all, how that works when we actually finish writing this method. Uh, if I can actually find it in the plan, there we go. It's quite a long one. Don't know how I missed it. <laughs> um, so we can come out of that checked uh, definition and define our embed because we are actually using an embed for this. So Discord embed. We can do uh, title equals. Oh yeah, that is a, no spaces. Uh, choose a song because we are of course a, a Pepe tryhard. Uh, description, which we're going to come back to later, because that's the most complicated part here. Uh, color equals ctx to author color, and yes, that is spelled correctly. I'm in Britain, so that, yep. Um, uh, you can use the American version if you want. Uh, the developers were British, so they included both. Um, it's a shame most American developers don't include an alias for uh, us British folk because we're the ones that got you to America in the first place, but you don't thank us for it. <laughs> Come on now, Ethan, let's not get political. <laughs> Especially if... Yeah, let's just, let's just leave that. Uh, so from import date time as DT. 
Um, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna touch an American history when I'm not even American. I feel like that's a bad can of worms to open. Uh, so embed dot or embed dot set author. We're gonna make it. You know, we're gonna make it a little pretty. Uh, query results. Embed dot set footer. Uh, and we're gonna do text equals. Uh, I'm not sure I actually did this in the previous series, but I did get a lot of people asking, how did you do like this invoke stuff? Um, so we're doing it. Uh, this is m m pretty much the way that um, Solaris does it anyway. For those of you who don't know what Solaris is, it's a bot that I made. Uh, yeah, that's going to be going on um, Discord bots pretty soon, hopefully. So that should be fun. I'm just kind of making sure that everything in version 1.1 uh, 1.0.0 is okay before I do that. But yeah, so message dot await. Uh, sorry, message equals await. CTX dot send embed equals embed. So this is the message we were talking about. Uh, this check function because message is is inside the scope of this. Uh, this check will be able to see it essentially, so we can just use it there. Um, and then for emoji in list uh, options. Oops. Dot keys. So this is our emojis. Um, and uh, the reason we convert it to a list is because like a keys object isn't scriptable for some weird reason. I don't know why. Um, but we need to set the number of things, and we need to uh, accommodate when there may be less than five options. I don't think that ever happens, but you know we need to accommodate it just in case. So we can do a up to min of len tracks and len options so whichever option is less so if there are if there are five or more it will use five if there's say three tracks in the search results it will only display three it won't display all five uh, is what that's basically doing and then message dot add reaction emoji and that's how we get a selection interface so we then need to do a wait for uh, I can't even remember if I did it, uh, anything with wait fors in the main series so this might be new uh, so we have a reaction and we would normally have a user how we don't need it so I'm just going to set it as an underscore. If you set something as an underscore in Python I believe it just throws it away instantly. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, either that or it waits until it's set next but I'm pretty confident it just immediately just discards it. Uh, we need to wait for a reaction add and we're going to have a timeout equals 60. And then the check should equal the check that we defined. Um, except a synchio dot timeout error. So we're gonna need to go back up to the top again and import a synchio. Oops, let's see how quickly I can get back using page down. Oh, that was okay. I don't normally use page down so I just wanted to experiment with that. Um, so if our if, if our message timed out, then we can do await message dot delete, and I personally am going to do await ctx dot message dot delete as well, just to keep things super clean. However, of course, you can do whatever you want. Uh, so this gets fired if the timeout happens. So if they didn't make a decision in within 60 seconds, this happens. Of course, you can change that so you can make it 160. I would actually recommend making it a float. For some reason, I don't know if this is if this is provable or anything, but for some reason in my experience making the timeout a float actually makes it slightly more accurate. Otherwise it goes too early. At least from what I saw when I was testing it the first time I was using this, I don't know if that's still the case, or if that ever was the case and I was just being weird, or if it was a massively coincidental beat, that's the thing. Um, so yeah, if they do make a decision that we want to delete this message because it just cleans up the, the um, the messages there's no real easy way to edit it um, at least in here and it's just it's just awkward so I'm just choosing not to and then we return tracks options uh, reaction dot emoji which is what that interface up up at the top was for so if you selected option number one it will return the zeroth index of tracks which is the first track um, in that list so if I can find it, there we go. And I'm pretty sure that is actually it. <laughs> I think that's all we need to do. So I'm going to go here. 
pi dash 3.8 launcher.py. Moving back up, we don't need to be in the bot usage channel anymore. Voice commands. Hmm, what um, song should we play this? I don't know. We should play 16. 25. I'm, I'm going to try and mix up the songs I play um, each time. So 1625 by Grand Banks. We didn't do the description. <laughs> I forgot I passed that because I, I was going to make the embed first and then come back to the description and I forgot um, because I'm just too good at what I do. Uh, so we need to come back to the description. Yeah, we just completely passed it. So we actually need to create a list in here. So we're going to create a list down there and enter because we're going to be doing quite a few things. So we want to do, um, on every new line, we want to join by, um, I'm going to do it slightly formatted. So I'm going to use uh, some markdown, I plus one. And I'm just going to write this all out and then explain it in one go, because that's easier. Uh, T.title. Uh, and then open brackets and close the brackets again. Okay, so it's just that bit in there. Cool. T dot length divided by 60,000. Um, and then that was a strange error. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I don't know why that error there, but um, whatever. Uh, so modulo 60 dot z fill <laughs> two and then we go down onto a new line and do four i t in enumerate tracks up to five okay so you can see why i left it originally so i wanted to explain this all in one go without confusing anyone so we'd go for enumerate uh, so we enumerate through our tracks list so that essentially returns a tuple with the index of the element and the element itself, which in this case is i and t respectively. We set the, the chat number to be, or we set the uh, this to be i plus 1, so the, the first option would be 0 plus 1, the second option would be 1 plus 1, um, so it just gives us a nice little list. Then we have the title of the track, then we have the length, we have the number of minutes, because the length is in microseconds, we need to divide it by 60,000 to get the number of minutes. And then we do a little colon separator. Then we do our string of the length modulo 60 to give us how many seconds. Then we need to do a Z field 2 to, to add any leading zeros that we need. So all that explained and out of the way, that this honestly, this might be a bug that I missed in testing. We'll have to see. Um, all, all that out of the way, we can now do the same thing again. Oh, I've got to, I've got to type it all out again. 16... 25 by Grand Bonks. Very good song. Uh, indeed, get my headphones ready. That was probably extremely loud. <laughs> you know, with, my headphones are just very loud at everything. If they touch anything, they just send an explosion out. So we can select number one. And it plays the correct song. Anyone that's a fan of Michael NJD will recognize this song. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we have our selection interface and we we can select a, a song to add to the queue. I'm going to quickly go and do that again. Um, and I'm going to see if, that, if, if, if I can recreate that error. And if we can, I'm going to see if we can fix it. Because that is admittedly one thing I didn't test. So I'm going to be back in a second once I've tested this to see if we need to implement any bug fixes. Okay, so the problem wasn't recreated. It seems to be that... The queue was empty and that caused the problem? Okay, so I've realised what's happened. Um, it wasn't a recreatable problem, it was just that the queue was empty. It was that uh, we attempted to start the playback. So it returned none, and it added... Well, it, it, did, it, it didn't add anything to the queue, but it, it started the playback anyway. So what we need to do is we need to check if the queue is empty first. So I'm, I'm actually going to do that here. So if not self.playing and self.queue and uh, sorry, and not self dot q dot is empty, and we're going to go up here. This is one of the properties that I was talking about before. So we're going to go up here, and we're going to define a property that says um, uh, def is empty, and do self, and then return 
not self dot q. Uh, so if there's if there's nothing in the queue, then we can just get is empty. Uh, then is empty will return true because the queue is empty, otherwise it will return false. Um, I'm not going to implement that here and here because it's just an extra function call that we don't need. Because this queue, because it's, it's got an underscore in it, so it says that it can it, it can be accessed inside the class but not outside it. Ideally, of course, it's Python, you can't enforce that. Um, we can create this read only attribute called is empty that essentially just checks to make sure the queue is empty. And then we can use that outside instead of having to access the queue directly. So we can just do this. And then in theory, that problem won't happen anymore. So I'm going to quickly test that and I'll get back to you the results. Okay, our message is gone and it didn't actually error. So uh, yeah, we fixed the problem. It was just that it was falling through and that the queue was empty, so it didn't know what to do. Um, so yeah, we fixed that little problem. I didn't catch that in testing, but we caught it now, so that's fine. Um, so that is pretty much all there is to doing a search for a song. As you can see, like we just need to do the extra implementation here, and then everything else is just handle what we did last episode. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, then feel free to leave them in the comments, uh, or you can join the Discord server using the link in the description. Uh, while you're there, I have all my other links to all my other things, so if you want to follow me on Twitter and Facebook and stuff, you can do so there. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do that for this video. If you liked it, then say hello down below. If you really liked it, consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. And if you really, really liked it, consider supporting on Patreon. Of course, you don't have to, but it would be a really cool thing if you did do. With that in mind, I'd like to thank my super patrons, Darky and Jackster. And I will see you next time when we actually display the queue. I kind of forgot what we were doing them for a second. So next time we're going to be doing our queue command where we are able to display the queue actually in the chat to see what uh, track is currently playing and what tracks are coming up next. Um, so I will see you for that.